Kia ora guys and welcome back to more Banjo Kazooie. We're around to the final part now. I am I am at the game show a part where we just saved uh, Tutti, our sister, finally after answering all those questions that Conchita throw at us. We got here. She ran off right that way. Uh, back up further into the top of the lair and I saved Tutti. Roll credits on. Um, but yeah, we're back and, and this is the time we have been waiting for. The time where we can knock her off her fat broom and put into it. And I actually, I'm actually prepared for this fight. I, I went back and and collected the final puzzle of Clock Clock Wood. What I had to do is actually go back, back into the spring season and I had to fart some eggs into the ground. And and out of that uh, grew a plant. And then I had to go to different seasons within Clock Clock Wood and abuse poor Gobi. So I knew Gobi, Gobi was still there. And he watered the plant for me. And then at the end of that, I got the last uh, puzzle piece for uh, Clock Clock Wood. So here we go. Mumbo's Mountain. Done. Treasure Trove Cove. Done. 34 minutes. Clanker's Cavern. All done. 24 minutes it took me. Bubble Gloop Swamp. 31 minutes. Free Easy Peak. 27 minutes. 100%. Gobi's Valley. 27 minutes. 100%. Mad Monster Mansion. 100%. Rusty Bucket Bay. Damn stage. 35 minutes. Um, and Click Clock Wood. 1 hour and 15 minutes. Um, so, and there you go, 10 out of 10. So, I got all the puzzles for that. Um, and I got all of the swap and swoop items as well. So, I can unlock more cheats in Banjo Tui and Banjo Nuts and Bolts. Um, and I also went back and just off camera, I wasn't recording, I went back and found all of the Cheeto books in the stage. So, now I have a maximum of 20 gold feathers that I can carry. And I have a maximum of 200 eggs I can carry, and a maximum of 100 red, 100 red feathers I can carry. But you guys saw me input that cheat at Treasure Trove Cove. So guys, let's go up to her lair and teach her a lesson. Um, so there's a cauldron, or like a shortcut. That's a cauldron there, just at the beginning of that uh, show uh, board game. So we've got need 118. I've got all the musical notes in the game, so there shouldn't be really a door that I can't open. Okay. So here we go. And here is the final picture frame uh, to fight to fight Gruntilda there. So I need to fill that in, and that will unlock that big door there, which we will go and fight through. Let's go have a look in here because this is now you guys haven't really seen a game over screen, but. Uh, this is where uh, she she's tried to steal Tutti's beauty with her mad scientist. Where he is? Uh, but let's let's just fill this in right now, guys. Chuck it all in. Damn, we're left me with six puzzle pieces. There we go. Now, I'm not done with puzzle pieces. There's a few more mus musical notes doors in here. Smell. Thing pot. This is a little cauldron here. He's going to shoot me right up into the top of the lair to fight Gruntilda, but I don't want to go into him yet. I want to open all these musical note doors, and what they are is just they're pretty much power ups. So they're going to give me gold feathers, red feathers. And also uh, blue eggs before I go and fight it because I'm gonna need I'm gonna need um, I'm gonna need a lot of ammo for this fight. Don't worry, Dinkpot, we'll sort it out if you can find us a way up there. No problem. Just splash on in and I'll follow you up to the pot. Jump in there? No way, dumb box. <laughs> Come on, Kazooie, you get a chance to pick the witch's butt. Let's go. All right. First, let's open these up. There we go. So if I grab this, I'll be maxed out. I already had max gold feathers, so it's fine. This is the blue eggs. So once I grab that, once I grab that, boom, I should have max max hundred eggs now. 
Um, now this part in here, I've got to complete this puzzle piece here. It's a honeycomb piece. It requires my last six puzzles. And what it's going to do... Oh, actually, my last four puzzles. It's going to double my life. So now it's red. Uh, so I pretty much got 14 hit points now. Okay. So that that is a major power up. That is just awesome. That. So let's continue on here. So this is the last musical door I've opened, and this will give me 100 red feathers to the max. All right, guys. Ready? This is it. Let's go and beat the switch. that furry pack got right up here it's so unfair but now the stupid bear must fight this battle test your skill and might bring it on so what I want to do is wait for her to zoom past me like that and she's gonna putt out and this is where I take my chance to pick her literally in the butt There's a, few, there's a few phases to this fight. Here we go again. Let's pick her again. Bring it on, witch. And again. Boom. That's the first phase. This one you can't outrun, so I'm just going to have to do my gold feather there. And while she's here. to actually shoot the eggs at her. Ready a few fin and all uh can't even read it. Oh what? There you go. Some good hits on her. Here we go again, let's just do that. Not bad so far, Banjo. Now use your aerial skills against the old buzzard. Alright. Now we're gonna big bomb her. So let's get on this launch pad. And fly up her. And aim for a boom. One. Gosh, 
Scathing by the skin of your teeth. Oh, man. Good. Finally. The animation is so slow. Now let's see if it gets you this. So I don't think I can, I think I've got to... That's right, the Jinjos come and help me out. Here they are. So your little furry friends come here to share your bitter end. Shall I fire to stop? So down onto the ground. Oh, pop. Okay. This is the last phase. So there's going to be a big ginger that pops up at the middle here. I am the mighty ginger native. I really think you had to run when I beat him and spoil your fun. So. I have to shoot all the sides and then that's the end of the fight. You know, the funny thing is I've got so much light. life, it's expendable. Uh, I'm just rushing to get this done. And she is done. That is folks. We have built, beaten, Gruntilda.
And that is it folks, thanks to everyone who has been following this series, it's been a pleasure bringing it to you. Um, I love this game so much, I've played it a few times now over the years, uh, especially when it was on the Nintendo 64, but uh, uh, let's have a look at our final uh, time to clock it 100%. So there we go, and uh, what you guys would have noticed at the end of those credits is all those things that Mumbo was talking about, I've already got them already. So I don't have to go back to any stage really, I've, I've 100% of the entire game. And 9 hours, 1 minute and 27 seconds. So 100 jigsaw pieces and 900 notes. Um, yeah, so, uh, hey guys, let me know if you guys want me to do the sequel. I might do the sequel some other time. Uh, Banjo-Tooie, it's called. It's a much, 
I think it's a much harder game for me to play because I don't really know that game. Um, and I don't really remember how to 100% each stage on the first try because this game I've played over and over so much times. And I know it like the back of my hand. Well, most of the stages anyway. Um, so let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to see that on my channel. And I will start um, uploading uh, the sequel um, for you guys to enjoy. Uh, but as always guys, thanks for everyone who has been supporting the series just by liking the videos and subscribing um, and commenting in the comment section box below. Really appreciate your guys' support. Um, but hey, until the next series, whatever thing I decide to do, whatever game I decide to play now, um, from me here in New Zealand guys, from me and Banjo and Kazooie, Kakite Ano. Uh -huh.